This year, I have visited nearly 60 unique Airbnbs all across the United States and I've shown them to you guys on this channel. And today, I'm gonna to be telling you the top 10 Airbnbs that you should stay at and a couple from my wish list for 2021. Before we get into number 10, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys out there for watching these videos and supporting the channel. There's no way I would have been able to do any of this without you guys. This was my first year full time on YouTube and has truly exceeded my expectations, so thank you. Outside of YouTube, I got engaged and married this year, so it has truly been one heck of a year. Now let's get along with the top 10 Airbnbs that you should stay at. There's no particular order except for number one. That is definitely my favorite stay so far. So all of the places I stayed at this year are truly, really incredible. It was really hard to pick 10 from the list I've been to. I did a video similar to this at the beginning of the year. None of those places will be on this list. With that being said, let's start with number 10, the Najem House and Casa Kuna. These two are tied for number 10 just because of the price point. They're a little bit pricier, but they are truly one of my favorite stays all of 2020 because of everything that they offered. They are really large Airbnbs, so you can come here with lots of friends and the Najem house has a really awesome backyard pool area and just a whole backyard in general. The inside is really beautiful as well. Casa Kuna is in Joshua Tree, which is really nice. It's in a cool location. The outdoor amenities are awesome and even the inside is just decorated really cozy and nice. Number nine is this tiny house retreat located in Atlanta, Georgia. This is like right in the heart of Atlanta and it can sleep four people if need be. The outdoor area is all enclosed, so it's really private for being right in Atlanta. The inside layout is super cool for a tiny house and it was just fun to visit. Number eight is the tiny house in Joshua Tree, California. This video has nearly two million views, so I believe you guys like this a lot as well. The tiny house design is very, very unique and practical, I would say, for a tiny house. It is two story and it's only 300 square feet. I know a lot of you guys didn't believe is 300 square feet, but it's pretty tiny for being a two-story house. It's really awesome. Number seven is the Shotgun House in Waco, Texas. I love the design of this house, especially on the inside. It was featured on Fixer Upper and the interior is truly incredible. Uh, it was just a treat being inside of this house, especially if you wanna visit Waco, Texas, I would really suggest this one. Number six is the lofted shipping container in Lookout Mountain, Georgia. The view from the shipping container home is like no other. You are on top of this awesome mountain and the shipping container home is unique in itself. If you love tiny houses and shipping containers, I've never seen one like this, especially where it's located. And there's another shipping container next to it. So you can actually book both and have this whole area to yourself. It was very cozy and a nice place to reconnect and relax. Loved it. Number five is this tropical house located in Tulum, Mexico, actually. If you're ever wanting to visit Tulum, which I highly suggest, staying inland is way cheaper and honestly, the Airbnbs are a lot nicer, I think. This house was really cheap for what you get. You have a private backyard with a pool, you have a balcony off the master bedroom and this really nice bathroom with this bathtub and the inside was all open and really unique. If I'm ever back in Tulum, Mexico, I would love to stay here again. Number four is this tiny house located in Tennessee. I absolutely love the design of this tiny house. It has a secret, in quotations, rooftop deck. It's basically open up the window off the bedroom and you get onto the rooftop deck, which is such a cool idea. This tiny house has a lot of unique ideas to it, like these stairs that are all zigzagged. It looks really cool. And you have a fire pit over here and you just get a great view of the river right in front front of this tiny house. Awesome design, really cozy. I would come back here in a heartbeat. And for a good price. Number three is the stargazing tiny house in Joshua Tree, California. There's a lot in Joshua Tree, so I thought they were cool, but this one was definitely unique in itself that 
the master bedroom. Half of the roof was open for you to look out into the stars and sleep under the stars at night. It barely rains in Joshua Tree, so you always have a good view of the stars. And the temperature of sleeping outside, it just depends on what time of year you go, was really comfortable for us. And it has hammocks, an outdoor fire pit area, and just the inside was really unique and cozy. I loved the shower as well. I love this space a lot. And number two is the Sycamore Treehouse located in Fredericksburg, Texas. This is one of my favorite tree houses ever. I love where it's located, it's really private, and just the interior design and layout of this is incredible. It's really bright and airy. This whole wall of windows just floods in natural light and you have a wonderful view of all the nature around you. I saw lots of wildlife and everything, and then you can just walk out into the deck area and just hang out here with your significant other or a couple friends and just have a true getaway at this tree house. I loved it a lot, and there's actually a lot more tree houses on this property that you can rent. This is just one of them, but I really like this one a lot. Before we get into my number one spot, here are a couple from my wish list for 2021 that I think are truly incredible. The South Fork Springs Private Hot Spring and Cabin Airbnb. It is located in Garden Valley, Idaho. I mean, if you just look at these photos, you have this awesome cabin, the spring hole right here to swim in, and it just looks absolutely beautiful and cozy. The inside is gorgeous. I totally want to come here with my family and check it out. Next is the Montana House, located in Troy, Montana. This place looks really cozy and secluded. I don't think there's like anything near you at all and the pictures look incredible from the inside and the outside. It looks like there's a small creek or river right in your property that you can come check out and you got beautiful views all around. I really wanna come here with my family as well. Next is this Montana Treehouse Retreat. I love tree houses. This one is very famous all over the internet and I really want to visit this one next year and they also have an a-frame right behind it back here that looks awesome as well so these two are definitely ones i want to visit and last but not least is raven rock cabin it is a tiny house that is on this rock cliff basically it looks like it's going to fall off but you get incredible views and this one's actually a tiny house and it looks cozy and fun they have a garage door so you get great views can't wait to visit this one either. And number one is the Cliffs located in Hawking Hills and the Firefly Treehouse located in Alabama. I have two number ones. These were my absolute favorite places that I visited this year. I included two because they're totally different. The Cliffs is this gigantic cabin that sleeps 18 people and all of the amenities and everything included is phenomenal. The interior design is on point with what I like. It is so cozy and there's even a hidden staircase in the living room that leads downstairs. And all the way in the back of the house, there is a waterfall swimming hole that is heated. This waterfall swimming hole was something from my dreams. Uh, I would suggest coming here just to see the waterfall, honestly, but bring a lot of people and you can have family get togethers here. You can have a small wedding here. You can do a lot of things in this cabin and it is really secluded and private. You could stay here for three or four nights and totally have fun without leaving. And the Firefly Treehouse is only meant for two people, but the amenities that it offers are crazy itself. It's located in these trees, all private and secluded. Underneath, there's a swinging bed and the fire pit out here is awesome. There's an outdoor shower that is really a treat to experience. And then you can walk up in your treehouse. The design of it is beautiful. There's a swinging bridge right here to get into your patio area. And even the inside with this bathtub that is exposed, it was an incredible stay, especially with a significant other and you can just take a small walk. You have your own private pier that goes right into this pond. It was amazing. So those are all of my Airbnbs that I suggest that you guys need to visit. They range from tiny houses to giant large cabins to tree houses, container homes. So with 2021 being a much 
better year, you guys should go visit these Airbnbs. All the links are down below for it. If you're not signed up, you can sign up on Airbnb down below. And guys, I'm excited for what 2021 holds, and I can't wait to show you guys some more awesome, unique places to stay at. Have a happy new year, and maybe on January 1st, we are going to start off with a tiny house in Hawaii. Can't wait to show you guys that video, and I'll see you then.